we want like people to you know sort of sit in the driver seat and really take control of time um it, it's funny but um, you know the smartest and the richest people in the world already realize this which is why they have eas if not one multiple eas to help them out with it but what about the remaining people right um how do you how do you help them out Hey folks, welcome to First Leg Portfolio Shots. My name is Noah Martins, and this is a series where we speak to founders of our portfolio companies, so that you get to know their team, understand what they're building, and the problem they are trying to solve. If you like the content that we've been putting out, do like, share, and subscribe so that we can reach more founders and startup enthusiasts like you. Today's very special guest is Path Pari, co-founder of Loopin HQ. Loopin is a calendar-based productivity platform. It transforms your calendar into a centralized workspace to manage your day and take charge of your productivity. Loopin recently launched a private beta of their MVP and are already seeing great user feedback. Loopin is building a super cool tool and is reimagining how people manage their time. I had an awesome conversation with Path and it was really great to learn about their culture and their plans for the future. I'm personally really excited to see where this goes. Stick around till the end of the episode to learn more. Pat, thank you so much for joining me. It is a pleasure to talk to you today. Uh, thanks, Noah, for having me. Awesome. So let's start by talking about the problem that you're trying to solve at Lupin. Yeah, for sure. Um, let me let me you know uh, ask answer this question by asking you a question, Noah. Okay. Um, what what do you think is your most valuable asset? Hmm. Yeah, my is time. Is it the money that you own? Is it something else? it's my time it's time exactly um you know not not too many people actually realize that um you know you can you can make more money right uh, you cannot make more time i mean you're always just spending time right it's linearly linearly just going down every single day every single minute every single second um the other beautiful part about time is that you know everybody has like equal time everybody has 24 hours there's no more no less um you know that's not the case with the money uh, but it, it it it's just something that not a lot of people actually realize um you know a lot of people actively spend a lot of time in checking their bank balances investing money to make more money um but they don't think about the same concepts with time uh, which is kind of hilarious in a way right um because you're always just spending time uh, so you know what when you think about like this exact same context um in a workplace setting uh, you know uh, like the way i like to put it is it's very easy for you to a lose track of time or b spend time working on the wrong set of things or c for time to be stolen away from you now let me let me just sort of you know break that down a little bit further right um, what do i mean by lose track of time it's you know let's say you decide to work on a certain problem or a certain task or you know you just pick something up right and you decide that you want to spend like a couple hours working on this and you go down a rabbit hole and you end up spending the entire day working on something like a lot of it like what was that incremental benefit that you got out of spending those additional hours was it worthwhile it becomes a big question um let me talk about like miss spending time your manager wants you to work on problem a and you end up working on problem b your manager isn't happy um when manager isn't happy happy unlikely that you're going to be happy either so um again that's a big problem and lastly i talk about like you know time being stolen away from you uh like when you look at when you look at the calendar today right um any open slot that you see on the calendar anybody in your company can see that which basically becomes an invitation to block that time on your calendar but right. is meetings the only thing that you are spending your time on i mean mm. you have several other things to do throughout the day um, right. but that open calendar becomes an open invitation and anybody can block that time right um, so that time isn't yours anymore mm. so how do we give people control of their time that's the problem that we are trying to solve for we want like people to you know sort of sit in the driver seat and really take control of time um 
it, it's funny, but uh, you know, the smartest and the richest people in the world already realize this, which is why they have EAs, if not one, multiple EAs to help them out with it. But what about the remaining people, right? Um, how do you how do you help them out? Um, so that's what we're trying to solve for with Google. That's awesome. That's super cool. So tell me more about what the solution looks like then. What is your solution to helping people make the best use of their time? Yeah. Um, so um, at Lupin, we are building a calendar-based productivity tool. Uh, okay. You know, so basically the idea is to make a product that helps you stay on top of meetings, manage your to-dos, take control of your time. Uh, so the interface essentially looks like a regular calendar, you know, something that everybody's familiar with, but we layer that calendar with very specific workflows to maximize your efficiency. Uh, so, you know, uh, I get this question a lot, like why calendar, why not something mm -hmm. else? So, mm -hmm. um, you know, like we chose the calendar because that's the ultimate ledger of time, right? right? When you look at the calendar, um, you know, it's basically a record keeping tool of how you've traded time, who you've traded time with and how much time have you traded, right? Um, so we chose the calendar, you know, because of that reason, it provides like ample opportunities which haven't been explored, you know? So when you, when you look at the past decade where, you know, a lot of products have really like changed, um, you know, calendar hasn't changed much over the past decade. Um, you know, calendar really hasn't gone even beyond scheduling for the most part. Um, so at Loop India, changing that. Awesome. So, what can you? Would it be possible for you to tell me a little bit more about what that looks like and how um, how somebody might interact with differently with your application? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you know, as I mentioned, the interface looks pretty much like a calendar. So when you get in, right. what you get right. to see is your calendar. Right. Um, and, you know, we built additional workflows on top of that. So let me just give you example of, you know, a couple of different workflows, what I mean by that. Um, so number one is uh, we are building a tool where you can manage your tasks on the calendar itself. Where do okay. these tasks come from? These tasks can come from, A, you can make your own to-do list. B, um, there are tasks that you can jot down from meetings. Um, and number three, uh, we plug in with additional applications that you would do on a day to day that you would use on a day to day basis. So applications, let's say like Slack, um, which is a messaging application, um, or Asana, which is a project management application, or a Cello, um, right? So we plug in these different applications that you would do that you would use, you know, regularly in your in your day to day, and um, so it becomes like one addition, you know, one single place to you know, take a look at triage and manage all of your tasks. And right. you can then literally drag and drop those tasks on your calendar to block time. So that's one workflow. Uh, we've given the power of like just jotting down outcomes of the meetings from within the application itself. So a lot of times, you know, meetings really, um, meetings just sort of lose momentum right after they end. You know, we, we chatted with like a lot of folks and, you know, that was, that was a consistent problem that we realized, um, you know, um, like there is a massive loss of momentum. And what I mean by that is um, people do not know who's doing what and by when, even after the meeting has ended. So to maintain that momentum, even after the meeting ends, we've given like a scribble pad of sorts where you can jot down, um, you know, uh, like almost pretty much like note capability, right? Um, that you can share with the entire team. Um, that's another example. Uh, a third example that I want to give you just top of my mind is uh, a lot of times, you know, how do you spend time like before a meeting, before a meeting that's coming up, um, you might want to block like a few minutes right before the meeting, like let's say 10 minutes before the meeting, 20 minutes after the meeting to before the meeting, prepare for the call. And then after the meeting, to just quickly jot down every single thing that you, you know, that you heard in the meeting and like really push the notes out, like tell everybody, hey guys, you know, uh, here's what we aligned on and here's what everybody's going to be working on. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, just so you protect that time, um, you know, we build like workflows for that. Um, so those are the kind of workflows that I'm talking about. So these are just three examples. There's going to be more yeah. that, that are going to be baked in. That's super cool. That that genuinely does sound uh, interesting and like something that I want to have in my own life. Awesome. So what's the progress so far? What does that look like? 
Yeah. Um, so it's still very early for us. Uh, we rolled out, you know, our MVP just earlier in the month, and uh, you know, we've been uh, we've been giving it out to our, you know, some of our early waitlist users and uh, some folks in our closed network. And we are doing the closed, you know, beta right now. Um, that's where we stand. Uh, you know, the early feedback looks extremely promising. Um, you know, we've been very pleasantly surprised with the response that we've, you know, uh, got into the application. That's awesome. Talk to me about how you and your co-founders, how you, uh, Anurag and Mehul met, and also about why people should want to come and join your team. I'm sure if you're not hiring now, you'll be hiring in the near future. So why should people want to come and join your team and build this with you? Um, it's really funny. All three of us, we were batchmates in Bitsvilani. Uh, okay. And funnily, we did not know each other back then. Um, okay. You know, we all, uh, we all interned in our, in our final semester, we all interned at another Britain startup called Framebench, um, which was, you know, uh, like later on sold to Freshworks. Um, so at Framebench, we all worked together and, you know, we ended up leading our own teams and building our own teams at, at Framebench. Uh, when Framebench got acquired by, by Fresh uh, Desk, it was called Fresh Desk back in the days, called Freshworks now. And uh, when Framebench got acquired, uh, the three of us, we all moved in different directions. So uh, Mehul, he decided to join the, the new parent company, uh, Freshworks. Anurag, you know, uh, he joined up, uh, Upgrad. Um, Upgrad was just getting started. So he was one of the earliest hires there. Um, and I decided to move to the US uh, to do my master's at Columbia University um, in New York. And uh, the three of us, you know, we've managed to, you know, remain in touch. We've known each other for about a decade now. And uh, we decided to start Lupin last year. Um, so that's how, that's how the three of us met. That's how the three of us know each other. You know, we, we go back a long time. Um, now coming to your next question, which was, um, you know, why should, why should uh, like people, you know, join us? I think, uh, I would say like two reasons mainly. Number one is uh, people. And number two is the problem. Um, so I cannot, I cannot really, you know, um, uh, impress enough on, on, um, you know, on the problem statement itself. Um, you know, we are, we are always on the lookout for folks who are passionate about solving this problem with us. Um, you know, it, it's a big, big challenge of time management. Um, you know, uh, especially with the onset of COVID, like a lot of these problems have you know, come to the forefront, uh, which would have ultimately, but COVID accelerated that, that problem, right? The lines between, um, you know, like working and not working while you are at home, they just sort of got blurry. And as the world moves to, towards a more remote and distributed work environment, I, I think um, the problem is going to remain like very, very relevant. Um, so, um, you know, if folks, you know, who are, who are passionate about solving this problem and uh, the problem statement really resonates with them, you know, we are always on the lookout for, um, you know, such people. And, uh, you know, the last thing I want to say is, you know, we, we just have a very friendly, very open, uh, very flat culture. Um, you know, we want to make sure uh, there's an opportunity for everybody to learn, for everybody to grow. And, you know, since like folks who are going to be joining us now, they're pretty much going to be coming in at the ground floor. So there's just immense growth potential as the company grows. That's super cool. I love that. I'm going to ask you one last question before I let you go. Um, okay. So I know that on every st through every startup's journey, there are these like highlight reel moments that where you have to pause and like realize that you're actually building something cool. Uh, we see, I mean, I, my reference is the stories that I've heard from other founders and Silicon Valley, the show. But um, could you tell me perhaps like a story from your journey, like something that was super cool, something that um, really made you feel like you're working on something cool? Yeah, for sure. Um... So I would say, you know, I, I recall like a couple of different moments at this point, um, you know, okay. just top of my head, um, you know, as you were asking me this question. Um, so one is, you know, um, in this, uh, towards the end of last year, um, you know, we decided to do something called 2021 looped. The yeah. idea of it was Spotify wrapped, but for your calendar, yeah. you know, just sort of giving people uh, like a, like a high level overview of how they've spent time in the entire year. Think of it as a performance um, you know, report of like how they've been spending time through the entire year. Um, and, um, you know, we just saw an, we just saw an amazing, amazing response of, um, you know, um, uh, of that, uh, product that we launched that mini product that we launched, uh, you know, it was, um, uh, it was loved by a lot of people. Um, we got a lot of I love on it. social yeah. channels yeah. as well. 
thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate that man um yeah i mean we got a lot of uh, love on like twitter on linkedin um so that was that was quite promising you know uh, that little that little uh, you know uh, product that we did uh, you know uh, it was definitely heartwarming to see that response um the second thing just top of my mind you know since we recently rolled out our mvp uh, and you know we are doing this close beta uh, the kind of feedback that we've been getting i think that's been that's been really um, you know bringing a lot of smiles like in the entire team um, you know so just earlier today morning uh, you know we got a text uh, from somebody saying hey can you onboard my entire team on the product you know so i love the product i want my entire team to use it um, you know we got like another email um, you know uh, some time ago uh, where this you know lady um, talked about like how much she's loving lupin and how much you know it has helped boost her productivity um so you know organically receiving such messages such emails um you know it's been it's been very very heartwarming to see the kind of response that we are seeing um with our very first release so um you know that's that's quite exciting that sort of uh, that that just sparks a lot of joy in the entire team right that's awesome uh but thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me today this was definitely a productive session for me um uh, i cannot wait to get on your program i would love to be a user and i can't wait to see where this goes i i really have like i i i really see this going a long way and i'm super excited for you guys so thank you so much for taking the time Yeah thank you so much Noah and you know thank you so much for the kind words really appreciate that you know would love to uh, would love to onboard you you know very very soon when we do the next roll out uh, and thank you so much for you know having me on the show it was it was just a pleasure awesome thank you so much